Welcome to the finale of my Ryuku to Aztecs to Russia 3 Mountains Run. We have max CCR and max War Score Province cost, but is that going to be enough to finish our World Conquest with under 100 years left? That's what we're going to find out today. If you guys enjoy this, please consider subscribing. Both out of the way, let's jump into the video. We got to get a lot done in a little time. Yeah, we're just going to Imperialism on the 13 Colonies. It's going to be a little more tough, but like, not really. It's, I have so many guys now. I need to start stacking land attrition. So I can actually stack in stacks of 100. That's my late game dream. Play like a bad player and stack in stacks of 100. I'm sorry if I'm bad, but I like it. It's too tedious otherwise. I'll advise you guys not to do my build, but I'm going to do it because I'm lazy. All right, bro, just hold this guy's capital. Here we go. Pretty big battle here. I don't think he was reinforcing the other. Oh yeah, they're not. They're just letting it happen. Okay, well I overstacked then. Age of Revolutions, guys. So we're in 1710, which, um, we're on the clock, you know what I'm saying? Nice thing about this build is that you don't have to worry about absolutism that much. You're just kind of like, it's nice if you have it, but it's whatever if you don't. It's kind of nice, because I could probably get, like, land rights and stuff, right? See, I'm in a weird spot, though. It's because, like, I want to keep conquering, but I want to have Abin ideas done. But that's, like, that's not really possible to have both. You know what? There's an idea monument that I could get that, that would be pretty good. But I don't have money. Oh, but it would be nice. Kuchel and Kuchin. I hope this is the right culture. The problem is we don't have that much money. So end the war here. Just going to leave one province and uh, so it's a quick war. And that gives us most of the colony. I guess we're over our gav cap, but like, we don't really care with this build as much about that. It's still bad, but like, it's not really a big deal. I'm usually so used to like the, you know, you can't have one bit of over, of, um, over gav cap or you're screwed. But with, with this build, it's going to be like, eh, whatever. Should I go to the next war? Or am I scared of rebels? Yeah, let's see if we can deal with our GovCat. Let's let's just grant the land rights, like all three of them. It's fine. We're focusing Abin, right? No, we're not. I guess I wanted to finish quantity at the time. But I'm like, I really wish I didn't do that. Unfortunate. I wish I made more money. But that's not how life works, unfortunately. We're going to attack Newfoundland now. We're kind of just been cruising through the New World. The Cleo Nations actually are really strong until you deal with the colonies. At least I don't have to deal with the AIDS experience of, like, having to siege somebody in the New World, you know? You're fighting Castile, and it's like a bitch because you can't get the war score. You, you guys ever been there? It's like it's always like that for me. I wish I could just give him some provinces so he would form into a colony down here. But I don't think I can. We're rivals. We're getting too much land too fast to keep up with in GovCap. We've eaten up so much land so fast. But we are getting through our uh, quantity ideas. I love Force March. It fixes all your idiot mistakes, like you're out of position, but it's fine. You can just force march into battles. Give him credit, you know, he's not a pushover, like every other colonial nation was. He's the first person that I've had to, like, bring my army in. But it'll end the same way it, all, it always does. Get a little war score, and then we just rush the capital, and then we end it. Probably the way. Yeah, I'm gonna group these 50 guys up, and then we're just gonna force march to the capital. Raj Assault this year. Oh, I wish I got some more war score. I feel like I am only 8% is actually kind of surprising. We own like half his nation. How would he have only have that much war score? Oh, I didn't know he was this guy too. That makes sense. I thought that was a separate nation. Force march to save the boys. I don't, I think they're dead. That's a long ways to go. Let's see how powerful force march really is. Yeah, I don't think they're. I don't think we're getting there. Maybe. No way. <laughs> No way! We've made it! Oh my god. That's crazy. I can't believe we've made- Force March is insane, man. I love Force March. So we're gonna go get some nice carpet sieging going over here. But yeah, this war has actually been tough. So I'm gonna end the war here. We'll leave him alive on this little uh, peninsula, but yeah, other than that. Okay, he won't give me money. Fine. It's fine. I don't need your money. Now the tedious game of clicking every button, because we can't click the coral button. My game starts to lag a little bit. Who should we ally just to, just to like, discourage people from attacking? I mean, we could ally Sulu, they definitely wouldn't attack if we were allied to Sulu. I'll ally to Lubeck. He could have like, a couple guys, I bet. Yeah, he's got like, 75. So all that should be coring, and yeah, basically the way the TCR works, if you didn't know, is that the rebels take 10 months to spawn because they tick 10% each month. And so if you core faster than that, then the rebels never, never pop up. That, that's why it's the... So powerful because other than that you're it, we're, if we're just constantly going over extended it's gonna be painful like we're almost 200 percent oe but it won't do anything because oe doesn't matter if you have good ccr but you will have to lower autonomy everywhere or raise it rather it's pretty tedious though war is gonna be kind of our out of manpower because that war is kind of expensive 
in manpower. What we can do is um, go into more loans and <laughs> upgrade this great project that gives us manpower recovery speed. It's a pretty nice one. And what's a few more loans? We, we need to build gov buildings, but we're like really poor. I guess we just take loans to build government buildings. I, I don't know. That's later me's problem, I guess. Yeah, that later me's gonna be upset about not having an economy, but that's whatever. You know, let's just not root out corruption, guys. That's the way. It'll be rooted out on its own. You know, it'll be enough. I'm gonna get rid of my forts over here, so there's no war score if they do war. If they end up having, if I end up having to fight it, I don't want there to be any free war score. That's not gonna be any war score, and they're gonna have to come to the new world if they want the war score. I gotta kill Francis Colony though. He actually gets a lot of value out of the colony. It's it's really big. That's another hard war though. To be honest, that's a lot of guys. You know, it's a respectable colony there. Oh, shoot, the revolution. I'm glad it's over here. I ain't dealing with that shit for a while. Wait, I want to get rid of that reform of the vodka. Steal your points, for reform. I don't want it. All right, so it's time to go to war with Florida, or Flordy. We're surrounding him already, so, you know, he kind of knows. He knows what's happening. I probably need to, like, keep my guys in 50s at this point. Or, like, they got to be, like, close together at least. We'll just slowly push into his nation. I don't know. I'm playing a little risky, like, splitting up so much. He could probably, like... Group up and fight me. I'll be fine though. I need to start making money, like to the point where I can build stuff. But we we're not there yet. Yeah, we're just gonna slowly push in and murder. You should. You know what I want him to do is go siege my land. Please go do that. Leave your provinces and just go for mine. You'll win. You, you, I think you can win this, man. There's only a few provinces. Come on, man. Don't don't come back to siege out your stuff. Just keep the base race going. Maybe this guy's gonna be a push after after all. Like he seems like a pushover. I'm not gonna lie. She's gonna go for the final blow when his capital ends over. The other war gave me so much trouble in this, and you know, this one is just gonna be a joke. I like it. I'm just gonna barrage assault the capital. Yeah, this war is uh, not gonna be hard. <laughs> this is gonna hurt France a lot too. So I'm gonna end this war, I'm just gonna leave him with one province here and call it good. That was super fast. We're now 278% overextended, but yeah, it's not a big deal. We're definitely um, not making money, so that's good. You hate to be making money. Someday I'm going to be able to save the admin points to get my admin ideas done, guys. But that day is not today. Because <laughs> we're uh, spending a lot of admin points, and we're not really able to save much at the moment, so... It is what it is. It'll 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 take us some time to transport our units to cross the ocean, so, uh, it, you know, we'll save up points during that time and try to finish it then, I think. Yeah, I'm going to take, like, two more loans, which I, is it's a feels-bad moment, but we have to. We have to. We'll, we'll have to scale, it's fine. It's the point of loans if you're not going to use them, right? 102 in interest is a lot, though. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's just uh, war with Britain, Canada. And then let's also go to war with Portuguese Cascadia. Is this a different person? I guess it is. Okay, imperialism on New Brittany. I'm going to declare war on um, Ottoman Colombia. Uh, one of these wars has probably ended, right? Yeah, we can. Uh, I'm just going to fully annex New Brittany. Just a couple. Yeah, he only had four provinces. And the war with Ottoman Colombia, full annexation. Their dream of a colony is dead. Am I worth this guy already? No, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to declare war on Brighton, Louisiana. Oh, we need to focus this now. Admin for life. I hate when you annex somebody and they turn into a thousand little rebels. and they Because they're like Carpenter Jr. or some shit. That's so annoying. So end the war here. Colonization and money from Britain, Canada. And then we'll end the war with Brighton, Louisiana. We're leaving him with the province as well. Because it's being occupied by France. And then we should be able to fully annex this guy too. End the war with uh, Portuguese Cascadia colonization. We're not even overextended from that. Surprisingly. I think I just might just call that good for the new world for now. Guys, the Ottomans aren't guaranteeing Muscovy. Yeah, I, I think my next war is Muscovy. Unfortunately, it's going to be a ton of attrition for me to cross the ocean, but like, you can't win them all, you know? I don't really think there's any way to get around that. We may need to repair our ships, actually, before we cross the ocean. So we shouldn't have started stacking all our guys yet, but we did it anyways, so what do you do? Let's just waste ridiculous amounts of men power, guys. It's fine. Oh, 65%. They, they make that, right? They make that. It's a short voyage. They make that. Guys, am I about to kill 125,000 men because they didn't repair the ships? Let's find out. I think we're fine. Yeah, I, I, we, we didn't kill 100. Yeah, we're, it's fine. It's fine. Like, did we lose, a, a, you know, half the men at sea anyways? Yes, we did. But that's whatever. What do you do? I don't really know how to avoid that. Crossing the ocean is just like a horrible experience. I don't know, like, how they could be that inefficient at it that they lose... 50,000 men on the voyage. It's like realistic numbers that they would lose like half their armies crossing the water. Yeah, all I can say about that is we should probably stop crossing the water if it's that deadly. Well, I think I'm going to upgrade this great project because clearly I have really good economy, so I can afford it, right? Exactly that. 
It's the it's the lone economy. It's yeah. What can you do? But we gotta accept the culture anyways. I don't really ever make money. But that's like, you know, it's fine. Money's overrated. Because what you can do is just take more money, and then you don't have to worry about it. It's fine. There we go. Rank 2. Awesome. Now we're just in... I mean, we're only paying 141 in interest. It's fine. No big deal. No big deal. We continue to make more money, and then we continue to lose even more money. Endlessly. It's an endless cycle. This war is actually going to be hard, guys. That's, a, that's something that I have to admit. But Austria's getting ruined by the Ottoman France alliance. He can't, he can't stop it. Poor bastard. He should have been my ally and this didn't have to happen, but he got mad when I took Russia. My rightful homeland. Like, how would, how would he be upset about that? I don't know. I'm not in the position to attack with all the attrition I took, I think. Like, I want to just take another loan, but I'm just going to do it. One more loan. It's just one more. It's fine. It's okay. You know, if I'm never going to have absolutism, I might as well have mana privileges, right? Like, what's the point in not? I say. Like, I'm, I'm not, not going to have absolutism. Like, what's the point of not having privileges? I think that I just should. I might as well just have privileges again. The bank is trying to steal all my money. Well, they're not trying. They're successfully stealing all my money, and it's their fault. Don't they know that we're, we could be a thriving nation if it wasn't for them? All right, we're gonna uh, finish up our admin ideas now, and we can get a policy that gives us some manpower recovery speed, I believe, and some morale. Fortunately, our max manpower is not very high, but maybe someday it will be not so bad. Oh, we're gonna be able to save a bunch of stuff now because we're not over GovCap because of our admin ideas. I bet that we're immediately going to waste all of that room that we got. <laughs> it's going to be gone immediately. Eh, maybe not immediately. It's still there. Still around. Yeah, we have we have a couple hundred slot spots now. We'll go defensive as our seventh idea, though. Now, I know you guys are scared because it's 1728 and we have, like, almost none of the world, but I believe. So I'm going to declare war on Muscovy and it's going to be a um, nice Imperialism war. I'll call my allies because they're, you know, they're homies. They'll, they'll, they'll help out for sure. I can sense it. We're in stacks of 50, but we gotta, we gotta like really like keep our guys together. I should probably play speed 4, but like, I don't wanna. It'll be fine. Oh, let's get new troops in the middle of the war. I see no problem with that. Don't kill me for this, I'm innocent. Who can I call to the war? It's definitely this Sokolowa, the goat. Wait, another guy will go? Lubeck? Let's go. You might actually be useful. Maybe you can deal with Spain. Not really, you probably don't have nearly the guys to deal with Spain, but like... Wait, doesn't Spain have a province over here? Oh yeah. It's over for him. Yeah, that's GG. See, so guys, this is why I stack line attrition mods, by the way. Because I like to do this. This is why we like to stack line attrition. So you don't lose a lot of manpower when you stack in stacks of 100. Alright, let's teach him a lesson here. Yeah, I would, I would run too, buddy. Because we're about to 250 death stack you here. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's right. That's right, bitch. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, we're actually uh, crushing Russia now. But the problem is, is that we're on the death clock of what's called the... It's the, it's the, uh, the manpower war. We can fight like this for like another few months and then we're out of manpower. But hey, it feels, feels good when we, when we can, right? Why we can, we're winning. I'm sure we're like at a billion attrition already. The thing is though, is like, I don't need that much war score to get something significant. Probably. Ooh, Salzburg wants to leave. Let's go. That probably really ruined my war score, but you know what? That means my allies did something. And that's a win. What if I could like sneak my guys to his, get like, you know, Spain's capital somehow? And make him leave the war. Like, I think it's uh probably not going to work, but... Maybe it's worth a shot. It's like, where are my ships? Let's hire like a group of mercs and just see if we can like sneak them onto his capital. You never know. Probably gotta split up our guys again because we're like dying to attrition. You know, Russia, winter, something, something like that is happening again. But the good news is that we're getting a little bit of war score. We're already out of manpower, but like, it's okay. We'll just pretend it's okay. Maybe we just like take what we can get and go, you know? Because we're definitely out of manpower already. Well, land attrition mods are not, are not, not, not quite there yet. They will be, though. But, like, well, once we finish um, defensive, we'll get another 25%, and then mill hedge minus 10%. That would be useful to have the extra bonuses there, but, hey, we'll get there. Land attrition is a blessed mod that lets you, like, actually just stack up your guys, like, in stacks of 100, and then you don't have to, like, micro that hard. It's really nice, in my opinion. But, hey, we're at 34% war score, and we cannot hear you to, to the peasants. That's what we say when they want less taxes. Oh, Spain wanted to go home. Did I get to his capital, guy, the way? Guys, I got his capital. Somehow. By some miracle. My plan that was idiotic worked. We paid it to his capital. He still won't leave, though. Unfortunately. But it's, like, pretty close. You know, I'd give you some money, but I'm not going to give you any provinces, buddy. I'm sorry. If we siege out one more province, we're actually, like... Well, okay, we just brought... Oh, shit, no, I pressed the assault button. Shit. We're dead. We're getting caught there. 
Yeah, yeah. Wait, are we winning that? Yeah, we actually almost won. But they're dead. They're gonna die now. Well, let me go. Let me label this. Let me go home. Oh, yes, white piece. All right, white piece, Spain here. The dream. It worked. That shouldn't have worked, guys, but it did. It did. You love to see it. I'm gonna end this war with Muscovy, and I don't want to fight like 200,000 rebels, so I'm actually just gonna leave him with a province. I've decided. He can have this. Yeah. He can have that one, because I don't want to fight his revolts. You know, it's like a thought, like, it'll be it'll be easier that way, probably. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd rather that he, like, consolidate all those guys for me and, you know, all that sort of thing. We got, like, a, just a random bunch of missions done now. I guess we got a lot of cores on stuff. That'll actually be nice. Claims on a bunch of places could be nice, I suppose. And we're going to core up our newly found provinces here. We got this really nice buff here is Russia. I'm going to grab this minimum autonomy in territories. It's pretty, pretty awesome they have that. That'll actually be, like, really impactful. Yeah, let's go ahead and core that all up. It's going to be a... We're, yeah, we're 563% overextended, but obviously it doesn't really matter. Oh, well, wait. Before we start, we got to reduce our war exhaustion. There we go. And it's important to do that so you have the, the short coring timer. You have to manually click. It's really fun. It'd take forever to manually core all these. See, this is what I mean by tedious, guys. Just like three minutes of just going down to menus and clicking to make core. I can take too many provinces at once is the problem, you know? It's my fault. But this is actually going to make me a lot stronger than I was before because, you know, I just took, like, at least one province. So that's good. And we can, like, get ready to go to war with the order at next, probably. Or Timurids, I, I don't know. I really decided. Alright, I gotta build some government buildings and, like, unfortunately I don't make money. So, you know, there's only one thing to do at a time like this and it's just take more loans. We're in 84k uh, debt. That's great. I love it. I'm excited that we're in that much debt, actually. That That's beautiful. It's beautiful, really, when you think about it. We're only paying 228 interest a month. It's fine. We're paying 163 a month to root out corruption. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's that's pretty rough. Because we we get plus 2.82 a month or a year because we're 500% overextended. It's not. It's no joke to be 500% overextended, guys. It's it's a real thing. Like you know. In fact, we probably actually have to go lower autonomy. Well, we're supposed to do that, anyways. We should probably do that too. It's just tedious. Yeah, we gotta look, like raise autonomy everywhere. I feel like I need a little bit of manpower though, but I want to go to the next war. But like, I mean, you know, I'm like maybe I can't. I need more manpower recovery. It's more just like I need more land attrition mods so I can actually set my army up like I am. Muscovy was no pushover. Is the problem. All right, I think we probably should be going to our next war, but I'm like I don't know, I'm having some issues with GovCap and money a little bit. That that that's the thing. How many more loans can we have? Like, quite a bit. We're 92k in debt. Oh, no. Should take our diplomatic map mode and make sure we're not in full states anywhere. Do like, we can clean it, clean it up a little bit. Anytime you see that it's, like, green, you you can, like, unstate, restate to fix it up. Almost into the proper league game. I need more manpower. We're, like, almost scaling. But I keep raising autonomy incorrectly, and so it's screwing me over. I gotta raise autonomy after the they finish recording, not before. It's very weird. The revolution started in, down here. Which is, like, kind of good for me. The revolution hasn't, like, touched me yet. Which is good. I don't really want it to. So, we're trying to get in position to tech where you're at. I like to stack them into stacks of 100 in the late game. But you need a good land attrition to do it. And my land attrition is not up to the task rate now. But it'll get there. Imperialism on where at. It's no, no barraging for a minute. Gotta get that land attrition mod. I gotta, like, make it to Ming's capital, too, with some... Some brave men have to march their way to, to Ming. How much land attrition do I take? 0.9%. It's not the worst. I mean, it's not great, but it's not the worst. Alright guys, you're just gonna make a sh quick journey to Beijing and you'll be good. Good luck. You'll do great. Yeah, you can carpet siege all me, you, <laughs> me all you want, buddy. Good luck. You're gonna need to go to the new world, the, you know, the new world if you want to really get some more score. I get the feeling you're not gonna do that. It gets to the point in the late game where it's like, you basically carpet sieging with full stacks now. Oh no, the elephants, it's over, guys. Fortune 44. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Force march around the mountains. Let's do it. It surely won't cost any attrition. So we're just trying to get enough war score to get what we want in the war. I don't really care to go crazy. I haven't fought a single battle yet either. We're just trying to get to respectively their capitals. Oh, Ming a little white piece, so. Cool, thanks Ming. I like white piece. Trying to not die to attrition too badly, but we're dying to attrition. Bro, what do you mean I'm exiled? I want a refund. Well, whatever. <laughs> what do you have left? Oh, okay. I'm going to take what I can from where you're at. I can't reach down here. It's fine. Can't win them all, guys. I wanted to white piece that guy, but he... I, I got bamboozled or something. I don't know. 
How is it not connected? Oh, fine, it's connected. Is it a delivery? I need to get the unrestricted conquest thing someday. Maybe I can concentrate some. Probably not. These provinces are shitty. Let's be honest. Provinces suck. Oh, you know what would be like make me money is like when I start trade company. That'd be nice. When is it that I'll stop being lazy in trade company? Do you think? Like, how long will that be? What's the meantime to happen? So I'm gonna make those trade companies, guys. They're gonna. It's gonna happen. But I just don't. You know, it's not yet. But I'll get to it. I'll get to it. So I think it's the war with Shun next. Well, we gotta cancel the military access first. Do my first ally. I'm gonna go to war with him. And I hate fighting Korea. It's a bitch. Fighting Korea is always a bitch. He's got level eight forts. I can sense it. Fighting Zyb easier. No, it's painful. What about Mongolia? I mean, it's kind of nice, but I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna go to war with Shun. Imperialism. Just kidding. We know diplomats. They're all clowning. They're all on vacation. I don't know. Da danger gains a core. What does that mean? I don't know, but then I'm just going to attack Shun. So, war with Shun here, Imperialism. War with Korea, so we have to, like, attack Korea. It's crazy, I know. I really need to finish my ideas, too. So, I, like, yeah, I'm, like, trying to... Don't want to barrage, but I want to barrage. You know what I mean? You ever have those vibes? You're like, man, I really don't want... I shouldn't barrage, but I really want to barrage. That's how I feel right now. I have a weird problem with coring. Like, I don't know if it's going to be a problem because I'm so far away. I just need the unrestricted coring thing. Large capital. Can we, like, dev our capital up? That's a lot of dev. I don't know if we can do that. Capital is this weird province. Maybe we can. I don't know. We just need to dev the gold. How much is it? 30? No, that's a lot of points. I mean, we're getting close. No, I wasn't gonna barrage! Come on, guys. Take that button away from me. I have to save my points. I don't have the self-control to not press the barrage button every second. No, I didn't pick innovative. Thank God. I would have failed this run if I did. I got the war goal, dude. It's over. Wait, no, I don't. What's the war goal? Hoha? The hell is that? It's right there. What, what, what am I doing over here? There's not even a fort there. What am I doing? I don't know. I really need to barrage, but I really can't. It's the hard times. I just lost a lot of men, too. You hate when they fight back. End of the golden age? No. That means my ideas are expensive. Ugh, why can't I have like a level 7 advisor, you know? That's what I need right now. You yeah, look at this, like, 14,000 garrison. You just can't. You just can't assault this. Assaulting is not an option. Congo, that's really, a, that's tough, man. I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. I'll grab Tech 27 here. A little bit of admin efficiency. Never hurt. I'm trying to core things up, but it's really slow because we're not, yeah, we don't have the range. We need to try to dev our capital up to get like another age thing. Can't really waste the uh, admin or mill dev on development right now. I can only make, waste Diplo. I need two more dev. I'm trying to get through my idea group too. It's actually pretty important to get through my idea group for the land attrition mod. Make a good bit of money, but all that money probably has to be turned into town halls, unfortunately. We're never going to be great financially. Tech 27 here. Yeah, give us some dev costs. So yeah, we're, we're diving up for capital soon. It's It's got to get to 50. Two more clicks. Hopefully the gold isn't deplete before I get to 50. Oh, I just realized that I shouldn't be diving it because it's going to go. <laughs> you know, probably collapse because I've been putting so many points into Diplo and then I'm going to lose the... Whatever. Fine. I, I just need the unrestricted conquest. Pretty bad. Because I'm not able to core stuff over here very easily. This war is kind of costly to me, too. And Mill Hegemon's, like, on the horizon, but it's still a ways off. War kind of sucks, because I'm fighting Korea. And Korea's just, like... He's always pretty strong and does nothing. You know, that's Korea in a nutshell. Actually, he's, I guess he's expanded a bit. Shouldn't say he's been doing nothing. He's been he's been, go he's been trying. So almost got defensive done, and then we can start barraging again. But we really are trying to be, you know, restraining ourselves from clicking the barrage button. If at all possible. We're not able to core, like, at all. We're just out of range, I guess, from, like... Yeah, I mean, our capital's in the New World, so it makes sense. And we're not connected over on the side of the ocean, so we're, like, just having range problems. Oh, we get to the ocean, though, from this war, I just realized. As soon as this war is done, we're ocean people. I love it. Shun's, like, pretty much dead, but... Yeah, I didn't realize that we actually are chilling in that regard. We can make it to the ocean. Cool. That's gonna be helpful. I'm gonna wipe his eye because I can't... I'm not within range to core his provinces yet, so it's better to have a short truce. Maybe I should make him win, get rid of his allies, actually. Wait, I don't, these, all these allies suck. I don't... Okay, never mind. You, you can have it. <laughs> just go ahead and wipe his side here. I'm gonna end the war with Shun. I'm just gonna take a little bit of land. Mostly I want to connect to the water. Because I need to be able to core. Oh wait. I don't have the points to core. Great. I mean, we're not overextended, so it's not a problem. But that war is a bit annoying because of Korea. But yeah, we, we're having problems with being in range to core things at this point. But what do you do? Can't win them all. We need to, we need to pull out our late game map mode that we don't usually use. The revolutionary map mode. Oh no, the revolution's like spread over here. Revolution's really bad for you if you're in the new world because 
It's like your provinces just get lots of unrest and there's nothing you can do about it unless the revolution somehow spreads to the new world, which it basically doesn't. So that's fun. Bro, smugglers, that's like a lot of money. So you know I'm already in a lot of debt. I don't need more debt. They don't they don't care. Unbelievable. So as soon as we just core this province up, I think we're gonna be in good shape because it'll give us in like the range that we need to core everything else. So kind of having to wait for that now. Okay, that's fine. Our options are pretty limited as far as conquest goes. Could attack Japan, but it'd be a gamble if we have enough ships to do so. We actually need to like send our navy home to rebuild. Or it's always annoying. So our navy's in like literally the other side of the planet, so it's kind of a bitch to get there. Like I guess we could start going, but it, yeah, it's gonna be a journey. I guess we take care of a couple things while we're kind of just chilling. Like let's do this for real quick. Wait, what did I just declare war with? It's not. Oh, he says how many guys? Or oh, he's up here. No, he ran away. He's too fast. It's over. Now I have to fight those rebels. No, I like this. All right, I gotta declare war on Breton, Louisiana here. Okay, end the war with Breton, Canada. Just kidding. He wants to. Uh... Okay, there we go. I just want. I just had to request money, and he was uh, he was in for it. But now they turn into rebels. It's it's my worst nightmare. Okay, I think once I core this, I should be in range to core everything. Theoretically. I should be in range till also being lagging like crazy. What is happening? Oh yeah, it's this menu. I remember now. There's certain menus that like break the game. I don't know why. Like late game, if you open the menus, it's really bad. Lag. Try to not be dying while we're not at war. That's that's a bonus if we can. At least till we have a little more land attrition. I have 775 guys. Really want to get the Milhedgy soon. My goal is 1750, so maybe we're not too far off that goal anyways. Okay, yeah, we can corp everything now. So corp all that. Trying to deal with these last nations with the Rebels era. They're escaping me. It'd be nice to finish off the New World completely. But we have... Fortunately, there's three great powers that have a land over here still. In Spain. We gotta fight New Providence. These defectors. Might as well do that now. We'll declare war on New Providence. Uh, end the war with Britain, Louisiana. Okay, all the Cleo nations are gone. I hate when that... Like, when you annex a nation, they become rebels. It's so annoying. You know, yeah, let's let's trade company a little bit. Let's let's not be lazy. We could make money. Well, at the same time we make a lot of money. Eh, I won't trade company. I really would I think I'd rather just have the manpower, like that's the one problem I don't that's why I don't want to trade company. But we could probably uh, I don't even know what we could do for trade. Can we collect in the Caribbean? Well I don't even know. I haven't touched trade in a long time. If I I'd be rich if I could get Sevilla trade net. That's what I really need. I might just wait to go to war to get defensive so I can hard stack without worrying anymore. Oh, this is broken, guys. You can have this? No way. Oh, it's so good. I thought you had to be United States. You can get negative 25% states governing cost. What? That's ridiculous. Is that as good as I think it is? We're gonna find out. Time to wait. Time to go into more loans. No, wait. We'll just use manpower. It's fine. Okay, we're gonna see if this is as good as I think it is, or if I just wasted a lot of money. Oh my... Holy shit! That's the most broken-ass shit I've ever seen. What is that great project? That great project is nuts, though, guys. I didn't know that that was a thing that you could use if you're apparently if your capital's in that's not crazy that should be crazy man negative 25 percent states pro like wow we don't have to worry about our gov cap for a little while that that's nice super chilling on gov cap now what oh i got the flagship let's go all right we're gonna end this war with new providence flagization thank you for my province back now these ships need to cross the ocean good luck guys but like i need you to go to here no, why, why go that way? Is it really faster to go that way than to go that way? There's no way. I don't believe you. What do you mean? There's no way. You're lying. Why would you go that way? I'm gonna pick a little custom route for these guys to go. I think if they chill on the coast, they don't take as much attrition. I don't need them to be there that fast. I just need them to be there. All right, guys. Good luck. Wait, I should get a admiral. That's terrible. He'll he'll surely help. Now we're we're over we're over a hundred thousand in debt now. It feels nice. I'm gonna focus my mill, even though I shouldn't. So I'm going to be stuck on that for now, a long time. I'll probably regret that choice, but it, it, it'll it be a problem for later. But I feel like I might, I'm going to get behind on mail tech because I've been focusing so hard on getting my ideas done. I'm tempted to get like stuff full stage just because I could, would probably have a lot more manpower. And I could core 70 provinces right now. That'd be a lot of value. We're tempted. Okay. How, how much cap does that increase me to? It's not even that much. I think I, I could probably full state everything. Because that great project's so busted. Holy shit. I literally could full state everything. I bet. Because our great project is un imbalanced. That's awesome. It would cost me a lot of points, but I'm like, 
I technically could probably. Am I getting a lot of value out of that? Probably. No, I force someone immediately goes up. It might be worth actually. Cause I could get a mill hegemon. Could be good. Got our ships coming across the sea slowly. Okay, there's 304 from interest. Is wild. But hey, we have make we have enough taxes to make up for it. We have plus 100% taxes, which is hilarious. These people do not keep any of their money for themselves. <laughs> I tax them 100% of their income. I don't know how they afford their homes, but it's fine. All right, defensive ideas is done, and then I'm gonna grab that policy. It's a huge policy here for that land attrition mod. That way we can stack like insects of 100 now. Do not care. We'll even do it outside of war. I don't even care. My army is now our sex of 100. That's how that's how it is. New new uh, template here. 60-40 for 100 guys. And let's get some more guys recruited up. More loans. What's a little more debt when you're already this deep, right? All right. So we recruited 250 more guys. Now, should you should you trade company? Yes. Am I going to? No, I can't be bothered. So I'm going to declare on Japan here, Imperialism. And I'm hoping that I can just land on his provinces and everything will be okay. I don't really know. But we can also tag Ming, so it's the double, you know, the win. We got our stacks of 100 that are really nice now. We're in the, we're in the proper late game where we can just stack like crazy people. I love it. Oh, the end of revolutions. This is, this is blessed, guys. It's a revolutionary. The revolution just didn't happen in this game because it spawned somewhere weird. And they didn't go for it, so that's a big dub. I didn't have to deal with the revolution at all in this game. So what I'm saying is you're screwed in your game because you don't know how to do it, and I didn't show you. LOL. Get good. Figure it out. I would have showed you, but I couldn't, you know? What, what, what? It's not my fault. All right, we're going to do ignore coring distance now. And now we engage the lazy late game mode. Auto siege with stacks of 100. The dream. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Guys, we don't, we don't want to fight that. Just run away. Okay, wait, I actually repaid a loan. That was a misclick. We don't do that here. We've got a hundred guys there. Spooky. I bet he's just tech 27 he's gonna murder me. I don't know, he's fine in tech 2. Get your shit together, man. Can we, like, siege this? There's a hundred of you. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. Oh my gosh. They can't do this. They can't do this. You guys are idiots. It's okay, auto siege to victory. Alright, we got the fort. We're gonna make our way to this guy's funeral. That's rough, man. That's a stack wipe. Alright, tech 27 and tech 27. So, we're looking pretty strong. And we can start barraging, more importantly, because, you know, we can justify it. We're probably not a sold, because we need we need to get our male hegemon still, but... One thing at a time. Japan has that juicy free war tax great project. They've been holding out on me. So I'm going to make the new deal with, with Ming here, because I'm, I'm really generous. You no longer have friends. Especially the Timurids. I'm just going to make sure... I'm just going to go ahead and make Ming have zero friends here. And then, I'm going to offer my friendship to Ming. You see? It's just like that. It's too easy. You're just not going to reinforce your guys. You're just going to watch. You're sick. You're sick. What's wrong with you? You could have won that battle if you just watch them die. You, there's no way that I could peel off to stop sieging. Like, come on. All right, so we're war with Ming now. Again. And we're going to do the only reasonable thing in time like this. Get them, boys. Attack. Attack. All right. I've, I've, been, I've started the completely perfect plan. We're going to make it to Kyoto someday. It's the plan. It's in the works. We're, we're gonna make it, but with the, right now we're playing Fort Simulator. My favorite game. Yeah, guys, you deserve this for just watching. They actually get away, don't they? They do. Whatever. There's like no forts on- oh wait, there's a fort there, I guess. Our navy's kind of bad, because we probably didn't upgrade them. Bro, let me upgrade my ships at someone else's fort. It's fine. Okay, we can't do that. We just live here, it's fine. Whatever. This is my home. Dude, I, I let you guys auto-siege and you do this? Of course. You guys are idiots. You don't need 300 guys there, guys, but I'm not going to stop you. Oh, 400. Okay. No problem with that. <laughs> Just send another 100 of the same profit. <laughs> Wait, why does that look like it's not my color? It's suspiciously not my color here. I don't know why. Shun? Me and Shun are going to have a chat. It's going to be a long chat, too. Like, one of those uncomfortable ones. Bro, his, the, his fascination for level 8 forts is, is getting on my nerves. He's fascinated by level 8 forts. Really, the whole game is. Shun's being a bully here, so I'm gonna be a bully back and just declare on Shun. So imperialism with Shun, because he's uh he's trying to steal my war, but it's my war. You have two nations that are sieging a fort, and then all of a sudden one nation just turns on the other nation outside, outside your walls. You're like, what the hell? What what am I watching? But then it all just ends up with with you getting killed. Still, you know what? We're gonna upgrade that great project, even if it costs us loans. We need more manpower. Many loans. That's fine. We'll take three more loans. What's three more loans? We're already in 12, 120,000 debt. What's like another 12,000, you know? 
yeah, we may pay 350 a month in interest, but it's fine. The bank is kind of rude. I'm trying to World Conquest and they're freaking sabotaging me. I dread this area of the map for World Conquest. It's so bad. Kree always has like the most impossible to siege forts. That's what they're known for. How many people are trying to steal this war from me at the same time is crazy. That's crazy. There's gotta be a limit, guys. Like, stop trying to steal my war. Meanwhile, the slowest march to Kyoto ever, because the forts. We've been here for years just trying to get through like three forts. Throwing gameplay. So I'm gonna declare war with Wu because he's stealing my war. Also, I don't know, these guys, they don't, they, 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 they gotta have boundaries, I don't know. I just wanna murder Ming. It's my turn. So I, I don't know what they're doing. I called dibs. Listen, Key, I called dibs. You get out of here. I called dibs. I'll declare war with all of China if you guys are gonna steal Ming, okay? I literally will declare on all of you. They do not respect dibs. Unbelievable. Now we're getting siege down across the world. By the side. <laughs> yeah, so I'm getting annoyed by now by everyone trying to steal my war. I just wanted to murder Ming. And everyone's like, but I want to murder Ming. So I'm gonna murder everyone that's trying to murder Ming. I'm protecting Ming. Listen, I know you tried to unconditional Ming, but like, it's not happening. I can't take everything, and I don't know how I feel about that. Bro, Shun took that too? Bro, Shun, you gotta be like reasonable here. That's my land. It's so annoying. I'm gonna get carpet siege across the entire world now. All right, we better hire like some mercs over here to like tell them to stop doing that. Stop carpet sieging me. It's annoying. It's unethical. And it doesn't even really work, okay? Now Korea is going to have to lose his allies in this war. He's not going to be allowed anymore. I'm taking them away. His, his allowed to have ally privileges are gone. This is quite annoying. I didn't really want to be in five wars. I just wanted to attack Ming and everyone else tried to steal it. So I had to declare war on China. Didn't have to be like this. So I'm going to end the war with Japan. I can't really see anything up here but i'm just gonna take the land anyways and then yeah i don't want to he's more ships than me and so i can't get to the forts over here right now so all right great all right so we got to core up this for 325 percent overextended which is really nice because that way you get a lot of rebels right i don't know where i was going with that one we got a manpower too which is bad so i'm gonna end the war with me just because i have to because i have to if i'm starting to core stuff now then i i have to like core a bunch of stuff i don't, I don't want call for peace just sitting there that would be bad and I'm getting sieged out. I built these guys just to like hurt stop them to doing that. But yeah, they're kind of annoying. We're in like the great siege of Korea again because they have like the worst forts in the video game. Okay, so we're 500% overextended now. But we still are chilling, I think. Oh, we can't core this. So we're with Shun. Uh, that might be bad. It's not that bad. It's only like a couple. Shouldn't be a problem. It's not, it's not enough of a problem. It's, it's a little annoying, but we're out of manpower though, which kind of is bad. It'll recover. What does this do? So I could just become Shinto right now. It's over. But no. Sorry guys, you're not allowed to have a temple. Alright, we're gonna save up all this stuff we just got, so we're gonna be, you know, making... Uh, we're not even making money, but... We are we have a positive attitude, so that's fine. Well, conquest is always possible, if you believe. No, Korea, leave me alone. I don't wanna... I hate your land. Korea's like, a bitch. I hate Korea. Oh no, these guys are dead. I'll tell your families. They loved you. Or something. Unfortunate. Freaking Korea is a pain in my ass. Why can't I increase autonomy? Oh, because I don't control the provinces. Great. What can you do? We're gonna get some revolts. I can't lower autonomy in everywhere. It's only a couple places, but I just can't do anything about it. But if you can't convert it, then stop trying. Okay? Don't be an idiot. Korea, you can't unseize that province. It's my only hope of you ever leaving the war. What do you want, man? I'll give you a ducat. N no. I won't do that. Fine. The war rages on. You think that you can siege out Russia and I, and I would care? That land's useless, okay? That land is useless. We all know it. Oh no. Rebels up there, that shouldn't even be allowed. How did I get Siberia? I swear I shouldn't have Siberia. I don't know, how did I... Oh, I took it from Japan. God damn it. Alright guys, so... I'm gonna end the war with, uh, Chun and Korea. And just... I'll, I'm gonna let him keep one, because I'm a good guy. Can you, like, annul with Korea? No? Listen. I'll let you keep two, if you annul with Korea. Okay? Deal. Now we have real overextended problems, guys. This is bad. I think things are about to be annoying, actually. No, wait, you were supposed to go kill Key. Get back in there. This war is annoying. What did he on siege? Why is he all happy? Oh, I got the war goal. It's over. Wait, Korea's here? What? No, I'm not doing that. I don't like getting bullied by Korea. I tried it, and it's just not really my thing. I can't believe Wu's allied to Korea, too. That's, like, the most annoying. Where are more guys to attack Korea? They're all stuck in the stupid water. Unfortunately, my guys are stuck over here. They live here. Korea has a massive navy. I need like more guys, but I don't have any. 
I don't really have manpower. I need manpower and stuff. I want manpower and stuff. Maybe I need manpower buildings. That'll definitely help, right? Maybe I just need more loans. Loans are the solution to everything. Great Britain declaring the, middle, the naval hegemon. That's painful. He has that many freaking ships. He doesn't even have a colonial nation. How does he have so many ships? Like, what the hell? Not cool. Unrealistic. Alright, well, whatever. Now, Korea. Will you, like, stop being friends with anybody else in the game? I just want you to have no friends. Like, can we work that out? I'll just wipe peace Korea. He's running out of allies, so at least that's good. We're murdering them off one at a time. We'll get there. Look, he left the coalition. How great. Yeah, now that Korea's gone, I can actually, like, use my troops. So that's, like, a win. Could we just, like, be a little less mad? Is there any way that we just, like, are, like, a little less mad? It's gotta be, like, a national arrest something here, right? Oh, yes. Well, we can be a little less mad. Perfect. We're a little less mad now. Oh, we need to be even a more little bit less mad. Guys, can we be a little, like, just, like, come on. Haggle with me. It's gotta be, like, a great project that gives national arrest somewhere, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be something. I mean, like, we could always take more loans, you know what I'm saying? We're only 120,000 in. That's nothing. These do not give national arrest, guys, but it's it's nice that I tried. Mm-hmm. What's this weird shit? Yeah, I don't care about that. Wait, is that global trade power? 20%? I don't care about that. Holy shit, why don't we have this? Oh, it's local. Okay, it's local. Never mind. I was like, holy shit. But then I realized it wasn't. Is there anything good that I own in the whole game? Or is it just all trash? I think it's all trash. <laughs> uh, let's accept that the Togota culture here. Togota. Togota. Where are you? There you are. Then we can upgrade um, this great project for the War Texas. And take more. Uh, take another loan, too. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Beautiful. Isn't this one pretty good? No, I don't care about it. Wait. So, I mean, he only gets points for like a year, though. It's stupid. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. All right. So we're just going to continue sieging, I guess. We're in three wars, but they're all pretty fake. But we need to get our, our men engaged. I mean, there, there's a lot of annoying wars. I'm not going to lie. Like, this, this, this shit has been annoying. You know, as it was meant to be and as we thought it would be. It is. So I hate the level 8 forts, man. It's so annoying. Level 8 forts sim. Makes every war so long. Now, Wu, I'll make you a deal. You can keep one. You're not Wu. Dang it, I, hope that, I, wanted, the, I wanted that guy to be Wu, because now this is way less war score. <laughs> Dang it. He's definitely not going to want to let me take his most of his nation now. Oh, man. Guys, at least just like auto siege. I don't know. You're just standing there. I don't even want to be at this war. Can you just, like, let me annex you? Come on. It would be better for both of us, I promise. Wish you could assault, but it's like, you can't really assault late game. Unless you have, like, a stack of 400 guys or something. It's just not a thing. Holy shit, there's no people in the HRE anymore. Austria is a, is a madman. He's killed everybody. By the time I get to Austria, he might have actually killed everybody in Europe. That guy is an animal. I'll just end the war trying to let him keep a province. And a North Korea. Where we're extended, though. We need to get out of all these wars. Someday. But I gotta get more out of Wu. I could end the war with this guy, just take everything out of province. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll end the war with the uh, key and just take everything but one province. That way we're focusing on one war now. We don't have to care too much. Oh, Korea's in the war. Why? Why is Korea in the war? Why is Korea in the war again? The war's been going on for so long, he shouldn't be able to join. After two years, you're not supposed to be able to join a war. I don't know why he can join the war. I couldn't. Like, you know, I can't call allies in after two years. And Korea is already, already, like, war exhausted. Oh, I could suffer and just make it work, I guess. But it is suffering. Make no mistake. If I, like, see, maybe if I siege at, like, one thing of Korea's, he'll be quiet. I'm just gonna build a hundred more heavies here. The solution to all combat, just build a hundred heavies. And you're pretty good. <laughs> You'll be fine. It shouldn't take much to want to make Korea want to leave. He's, he's pretty worried. He's already exhausted. But it is, it is all very annoying. I, w I admit, these wars have been pretty annoying. I probably don't want to end the war until I core stuff up anyways, though. But it's not, like, really critical for me to do anything. These guys live here, I guess. Yeah, pretty annoying that I have to be at war with Korea again. I don't want to be at war with Korea again. You know what, maybe I, instead of going for the fort, I just go for some provinces so you can leave. Because it's actually a lot of war score. Like, he, you know, him being an, an, an ally is a lot of war score. And you can claim the economic hegemon. Because I have the most debt in the game, so they're going to let me have that. That's really nice. Alright, white peace, Korea. Alright, industrial revolutions here. It means we got about 70 years left to our world conquest. we got to move, that's for sure. But at least it's really nice that, like, Europe's kind of, like, consolidated. I don't have to, like, fight a million people. It's just, like, Austria. And, you know, it's just the great powers really left. So it actually is only, like, five wars. or It's only a few people to fight over there. It's kind of nice. I really need to kill Korea. 
He's on the list. White piece with this dude. I'm gonna barrage assault on uh, Tibet. All right, so that that gave us more score. We are almost there. I think we have like all the forts. I don't even know what he wants me to take anymore. What, what do you want from me? I'm gonna kill your armies. Will that make you want to leave? Man, the war with Wu and I guess Tibet. I'm gonna take everything over here, and yeah, it should be good. So we've gathered, you know, we've we've uh, conquered a lot of China. A little bit of a time skip to 1782. I decided to give up on this run as we're probably not going to make it. I wanted to talk about why we failed. Well, there's a couple of reasons why we failed. But I'm going to break down a couple of them for you. Let's we'll start with Giga Austria. Giga Austria was definitely a problem. You know, I'm, I've never seen a bigger Austria ever. Like, literally. Ever. And that's nearly 7,000 hours of gameplay, so... Yeah. It's unfortunate that Austria is trying to get his world conquest and kind of messed my world conquest up. But you know, it happens. I want to show you guys another major issue... That I didn't expect. So in theory, I could grab all these provinces, right? The problem comes with 1762 to core. So even though I have the ability to take a bunch of provinces, even with max CCR, I can't core the provinces because it's more than my cap. There's not really a solution to that. It's something I didn't really think would be an issue, but became a big issue later in the game. Another issue is our economy. We're uh, paying 795 in interest a turn because we're uh, yeah, we're a solid 278,000 ducats in debt, which is it's not the biggest problem, like I could still take more loans, but it kind of creates a problem in the sense you don't... You need surplus money to like have nice things like great projects and stuff. If I'm always negative money, it's kind of rough. So I'd say my two main issues were Giga Austria and not realizing the problem of you can take as many promises as you can, but you can't core them. I didn't realize that was going to be an issue. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this run. I learned a ton at any rate, and I'll be running back another three mountains where I use my normal admin efficiency build. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great one.